welcome back once again assalamu alaikum to my all sweet dearest and nearest friends today video about the Cummins QST30 model engine which is CM850 the CM complete wiring explanations and complete pinout explanation in this videos this is the part one if you watch the part one then I requested to ma part number two for the better understanding and complete understanding don't miss out the part number two so let's get started as you can see here this is the SEM connector number two CM850 engine model source addresses from 0 to 60 pin connector first of all we are going to check out the SEM connectors as you can see here this is the SEM this SEM have three connectors one is four pin connector port one is 60 pin engine harness connector port and one is 50 pins OEM harness connectors now we are explaining the middle one which is 60 pin harness connector port as you can see this here is another connectors so this is the 60 pin connectors mate mate connectors as you can see here i'll explain the pin out and this is the pin uh, 50 pin connector which is inserting in a ECM. this is the coolant driven sensor connector mating face all here the sensors connector is given in the design and also explain the wirings as you can see the engine crankshaft speed engine position sensor connector mating face here is the engine cooling temperature and treatment fold temperatures and also engine oil temperature sensor connector mating face as you can see four pin ECM power connector this is all the connectors as you can see the cooling pressure engine oil rifle pressure and treatment fold pressure sensor connector mating face like this and also J9 J1939 terminator connector mating phase. This is using for the 120 ohm resistor. As you can see here, this is the all the connector. Now go to explain to start from the 60 pin connector. As you can see, this is the connector number two. As you can see from the start, pin 19, 29, and 12. This is the governor speed load governing bias signal drop adjustment potentiometer signal and also generator output frequency adjust potentiometer if you have a problem related to the engine governor or unstable frequency you check this wire and follow check out the wiring diagram this one as you can see if we follow this wire where is going to from the 60 pin connector of the SEM as you can see this wiring is out from the ACM not from the connector okay this is going to the generator also mention again and follow to down as you can see here is the 30 win, 31 pin OEM connector inside the generator speed load governing bias signal as you can see this is the another connector and then sort it to this another connector and then out from this another connected going going to the load share equipment as you can see here this is the load share equipment and this, if you follow this another two wire also coming in this 31 pin connector drop adjust potentiometer signal insert it and then out to going to the control panel drop adjustment potentiometer signal okay this is all going to the potentiometer which one is for the gain one is for the drop one is for the speed you can adjust manually by hand and also you can fo follow this wiring and test the signal positive and also adjustment as you can see here this is all the this is coming out from the 
if we are check out in the connector pin 31 connector where is it and how this look like this as you can see here this this as you can see 31 pin engine side OEM interface connector B meeting this now going to explain other pins as you can see here if you have a can communication related problem you can follow this wire and check out and test with the pin 7 pin 6 and pin 8 send data link to engine network shield send data link to engine network return and also engine network supply pin 7 6 and pin 8 if we follow these three wires where is going this wires as you can see here also mentioned again and this all going to splice with the same data link engine network terminator 120 ohm resistor okay and also as you can see here and then uh, here is a splice this wires and as you can see from here is out this all terminator resistor wires and again going to the ACM sin pin pin 2 pin 12 and pin 44 from the uh, to the pin uh, 60 pin connector and also if we follow this wire as you can see this is going to psi psi j1939 data link connector service port connector battery return battery one voltage supply and also the can system psi jetter link connector supply return and also shield wire and this is going to another connector nine pin one is one and n three as you can see here and also coming here and the last one pin 2 and pin 12 and pin 44 of the 60 pin connector as you can see here send data link to engine network supply and send data link to engine network return and also now explain the sensor wiring signal pin 3 this is the barometric pressure sensor signal how to and going to the bottom as you can see here also in take for one pressure sensor and barometer this is our barometric pressure sensor 5 volt reference supply sensor number two and barometric pressure return sensor return number two barometer signal which is coming out from the 60 pin connector and pin number three and also pin 44 is in take for number one and then this is the this signal is going to the intake manifold number one pressure sensor 5 volt return and also intake manifold pressure return sensor return and also intake manifold number one pressure signal this is the intake manifold pressure sensor signals and return and 5 volt reference all the 5 volt reference and return is jumped together okay and this is the sensor supply to pin 37 which is in a 60 pin connector and also 18 is n take mode 4 this as you can see are are jump together and also sensor return number 2 and this is all the negative and positive supply return and 5 for reference is jump together and provided to all sensor cooling pressures 5 volt supply sensor supply 1 and cool it pressure return sensor return 1 and cool it pressure signal as you can see here this is the all sensor wiring if you are related problem sensor code or sensor problem you can follow and read this diagram for your sensor related problems to fix the wiring of the sensors 
this is all the sensor engine cooling temperature intake manifold intake manifold number two engine oil temperature signal as you can see here some sensor have three wires some sensor have two wires okay this uh, four sensor have two wires one is return one is signal okay and also the return is jumped together and signal wire is separately going to each sensor and the last one RTC battery backup supply RTC battery return pin 35 pin 32 and the last one sensor supply and sensor return number three and also the engine crankshaft speed signal this is coming to the ACM1 CM5552 source address this is the 50 pin connectors from 60 pin 20 pin number 27 is coming to the engine crankshaft speed signal inserted to the 50 pin connector which is pin 17 as you can see here and then also supply and return is out now we this is the 50 pin connector of the ACM as you can see here now we are explaining this connector after 50 pin as you can see the engine wiring harness sources this is coming from the as you can see here the, from the 60 pin connector which is pin 27 is coming to the 50 pin connector inserted to the pin number 17 engine crankshaft speed resignal and also engine crankshaft speed return and engine crankshaft speed 5 volt reference supply pin 17 18 and 8 this is out from the pin 50 uh, 50 pin cm connector now here as you can see jumped and if we follow this wire is down as you can see this is coming in a cm pin 3 sources addresses 50 pin connector engine position signal inserted to the pin 9 okay as you can see all the return and 5 volt is this is the engine crankshaft speed signal one is return one is 5 foot reference which is the 50 pin connector 7 pin number 17 18 and also pin number 8 is positive supply okay for the sensor and uh, 50 pin connector pin number 9 19 10 47 and 48 engine position signal engine position the return and engine position 5 volt supply a primary DIT bit and primary DIT bit return as you can see this is our engine position signal here as you can see here this is the part number one if you want to understand on complete whole diagram please must watch part number two don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching my video